One. What's going on everybody? I'm back with another Tesla video for you guys. If you're interested, click the eye in the top right. I covered this a couple of days ago. Uh, all the different trims, uh, speeds, ranges, everything through all the different Model 3s and a really nice, easy to follow chart. I also covered all the different interiors in that video. However, this video today is all about enhanced autopilot versus full self-driving. Uh, enhanced autopilot does no, no longer exist. It's just called autopilot and there's full self-driving. So if I say enhanced autopilot that doesn't exist anymore, I really mean autopilot. So we're gonna look at the old enhanced autopilot versus the new enhanced autopilot and then the old full self-driving versus the new full self-driving. So let's set up a nice, easy to follow chart uh, red versus blue felt that was the most appropriate. And, uh, we're going to look at prices first. So in the old system, enhanced autopilot was $5,000 full self-driving was 3000. You add them up, you get $8,000. Uh, in the new system, they kind of like flipped it around. Uh, autopilot is $3,000 and full self-driving is 5,000. Again, you add them up, you get a total of $8,000. So the prices flipped, literally, they switched the prices from one to the other. Uh, in terms of features, so in the old system, enhanced autopilot got quite a bit. It got auto steer, auto braking, adaptive cruise control, summon, auto park, and navigation on autopilot. So you got all this stuff uh, in the old uh, enhanced autopilot. Now in just autopilot, you're going to get uh, auto steer, auto braking, adaptive cruise control. So just for simplicity, if you notice those three features on autopilot that you're getting in the new uh, the new format that they have, uh, it's just a top row. So the bottom row is summon, auto park, and navigation on autopilot. That has moved to the full self-driving in the new system. So they just kind of like rearrange the prices and they rearrange where features are. So autopilot now is just auto steer, auto braking, adaptive cruise control, and full self-driving, you're going to get summon, auto park, and navigation on autopilot. So it kind of makes sense why they did this. A lot of people were buying full self-driving with never actually getting anything. Uh, it was just like, hey, you're going to get something down the road. Now they're actually giving you something for your money. Uh, full self-driving in the old system included city driving, traffic lights, stop signs. Uh, these three features that are supposed to be coming some point this year, later this year, are also under the new full self-driving. So how does it work in terms of like post uh, purchase upgrade. So if you didn't buy autopilot and you didn't buy full self-driving, uh, at the time of purchase, you want to add it afterwards. So again, you're looking at 3000 and 5,000 for the new prices. So let me show you here. Uh, so after purchase, uh, autopilot will be 4,000 and full self-driving will be 7,000. So if you want to add those two features after placing your order, uh, it's going to cost a little bit more to get those added to your car. Uh, prior to all these price adjustments, if you bought your car prior to all these price adjustments, you can actually get a bit of a discount for adding autopilot and full self-driving to your car. So just as an example, uh, I never added full self-driving. I was waiting until actual features came out for it. So full self-driving, if you're ordering after delivery today, so if I order my Tesla today, I don't add full self-driving. I want to add it in a week from now after I take delivery, it's going to cost me $7,000. Uh, because I got my car prior to all these price adjustments, it's going to cost me $3,000. So it's Tesla's way of uh, honoring or, you know, thanking those customers that purchased Tesla's uh, early on that really helped them achieve what they have. Uh, customers who already purchased full self-driving will also receive an invitation to the Tesla early access program. So if you have full self-driving, you're going to receive an invitation uh, just as like a reward or a thank you. Uh, not going to talk too much about the early access program. It's supposed to give you access to quicker updates, but it hasn't been the case so far. Uh, the last thing I want to talk about is uh, if you should actually purchase this. So enhanced autopilot features that are now full self-driving are navigation on autopilot, auto park, and summon. If you have enhanced autopilot already prior to all these price adjustments, navigation on autopilot, auto park, and summon will all be grandfathered in you won't have to buy full self-driving to get those features. You, you should have them already. So because I have enhanced autopilot, I can use navigation on autopilot uh, right now without having to have full self-driving, even though it's in the new full self-driving feature set. Uh, and then, so if you have an enhanced autopilot and you have those three features, you're happy with it. Uh, 
don't bother with full self-driving. Uh, some of the features that are coming later this year that you're going to need full self-driving for are city driving, traffic lights, and stop signs. So, I mean, Tesla does give you a pretty good incentive to add it if you already have your Tesla and you haven't received, you haven't added those features yet, autopilot and full self-driving. But this is pretty much what you're given for your money, uh, one way versus the other. Uh, but like I said, those with uh, enhanced autopilot are going to be grandfathered in, so you're going to get all those features uh, regardless. Hopefully this helps you guys. Uh, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, new Tesla content all the time. Uh, the channel's actually growing really well. I haven't had it super long, and I'm over 300 subscribers now, so uh, subscribe, help me get that number up. And most importantly, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.